Hello and welcome to this deployment sessions video on Windows 8 apps with me Simon May. In this session we're going to be taking a look at sideloading an AppX package onto a Windows 8 Enterprise device using Windows Intune. The first thing that you'll need to go and do is create yourself an AppX package. I suggest using zipapp.co.uk in order to help you through that process and you'll be able to create your first app in around about 10 minutes. Once you've got that, the first thing that we need to do is take our app and create the app inside of Windows Intune. So here we can see the management portal for Windows Intune. I'm on the system overview pane at the moment. Let's go down and have a look at the software view and then we'll have a look at our managed software. And in this case, we're actually going to go and add software into Windows Intune. That's going to launch a wizard on our local machine. It's going to cause a, a run once application to download from uh, Windows Intune and, and kick off. We're then going to sign into this application with the signing details for the administrator of our Windows Intune uh, tenant account. And we'll just pop the password in there. Once we've done that, we'll then start the wizard for publishing our software. I'll hit next on this summary screen. I want to suggest that I'm going to use a uh, Windows AppX package or Windows App package AppX file in order to uh, deliver this application. That's what I need to use if I want to sideload. I've just browsed to that location there and you can see the Tetna application. Now I need to set up the properties to describe the software to the end users who are going to be doing the installation. So we'll pop in the, uh, the publisher name, the uh, name of the application we will change so that that makes a little bit more sense and we'll also drop in uh, something of a useful description for our end users so that they know what kind of application it is that they're uh, installing onto their devices. Once we've done that we can move on to the next stage and upload that package. That's going to take a little bit of time to do, we've speeded up the video here um, but obviously that's going to depend on the amount of uh, information that's in your package and the size of the Apex file that you're uploading. Once that's done, let's uh, then go back into our Windows Intune account. We now need to go and deploy the application out to our end users. So we'll just go back to the Manage Software node to refresh the uh, list of applications. And I'm going to select the TechNet application and go to Manage Deployment. I'm then going to select my uh, All Users grouping here because I haven't set up anything more granular inside of Windows Intune. I'm then going to change the uh, approval to Available Install. That will make the installation available inside of the company portal. Once that process is complete, we are then ready to switch over to our end user's device to enroll that device into Windows Intune. And you can see the first thing that I've done here is launched Internet Explorer on my Windows 8 device. I'm then going to go to portal.managemicrosoft.com and that will actually open up um, the very first part of the portal for our Windows Intune tenant. This is the place where our end users are able to get their devices enrolled. I'm going to log on with my user credentials here. Here you'll notice that I'm using uh, the kind of full DNS name for my Windows Intune account. I haven't added in a shorter DNS name. Once we've logged in, we'll get um, a view of our company portal. There we go. I'm now going to click on all my devices to see all of the devices that are associated with my user account within Windows Intune. I'm going to add a device here and enroll the device that I'm working on. And I'm going to download the software. On a Windows 8 device, or a Windows 7 device in fact as well, we have to install the management software for Windows Intune onto the device. We'll click Run within, Win within Internet Explorer and that'll start the uh, package download and as soon as it's downloaded it'll start the installation wizard. And we'll let the security scan run through very quickly there. And again the first thing that I'm asked to do is actually to provide my credentials to log into the Windows Intune account that I'm going to be connecting up to. Once that's done you'll see the installation start and we'll then just run through. It requires very little user interaction but it does require me to have elevated privileges at this point. So if you're doing this in a bring your own device scenario it's likely that the end user is going to have admin rights over their machine. In a corporate scenario just like this it's likely that you're going to want to actually do a corporate deployment so that you don't end up seeing 
those kind of uh, user account control screens. Just down in the bottom right hand corner we see that uh, almost instantly a Windows Intune client icon appears and if we go to company portal again we'll launch back to that web page that we saw earlier on except this time it's opening up in the desktop browser. It requires me to log back into that web page again so we'll just go ahead and enter that password for the account. Obviously it knows the um, username this time. Once that's complete we'll see that uh, very familiar fake URL limited um, screen again and we'll this time have a quick look and uh, see what apps are available for us to install onto this device and you can see that uh, having clicked on um, the company portal there I have to actually go over to the Windows Store and download the company portal app it's exactly the same company portal that you would get if you were doing this on a Windows RT device okay so once we get to uh, the point of it installing we'll move back over to our start screen you can see that the uh, that the um, company portal app there that uh, blue square on the right hand side has already been populated the app has now finished downloading and we get the notification toast to tell us so so if you watch the videos on Windows RT this company portal will be familiar to you we're gonna just log into the company portal with exactly the same credentials that we've been entering throughout this video and if you're in any wonder as to why we're having to enter such long credentials we could actually implement um, Active Directory Federation services to allow us to have single sign-on with our Active Directory and also with um, Directory Sync services so that we can have single sign-on single use of email addresses across our Active Directory um, and our Windows Intune account and so finally let's go and install the app onto our Windows 8 device so back here in the company portal we're going to click on the TechNet UK tile that we see just there and then we'll click on the install button that appears on the next screen that's now going to go through the process of downloading and installing the uh, application for us and we'll see that appear uh, with a notification toast and then a tile onto our start screen in just a moment. If you're wondering what we've had to do in order to make this work, um, we've got group policy turned on to allow us to deploy apps to our devices here, although actually Windows Intune will make that change for us. We've also got uh, this application signed by a certificate which is trusted by all of the machines inside of our Active Directory. There's the app launching up nice and happily. Hopefully this video has been uh, useful and informative. Please take a look at the free Windows Server 2012 and System Center 2012 evaluations to download so that you can give this stuff a try.